interested in the end. Uh, Mike's question and any general discussion as to how the project of the UK's interest in this area and our connection with the European continent, French Francophonie as well, might develop and what we might do in the future. Our project is coming to an end, just as Michael's and Frederick's is taking off, which is great. And we should stay in close contact with their developments, of course, as well as, I'm so happy to hear Pierre saying, he told us yesterday that his employer, his institution, thinks of the analysis as a major project that will carry on with their backing, which is great. We're very grateful to them, Pierre. Um, a general discussion, and Michael's point, what would the contributors to Trevor Wishart Forum how would Mike, do you want to lead on this? What, should we make a positive proposal? You'd say, I want this for E analysis. E orama, sorry, E analysis. That too. E um, What would the, just the contributors first have this to say? Would you like to get together a group contribution somehow, Mike, if you need? Well, I guess that's up to the. Uh, um, can you stand up? Uh, on the camera, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's up to the, uh, the contributors and the people who presented today. If they're interested in that, then by all means, that would be something I'd be happy to help put together um, in, in the form of an article. Of course, if any of them would like to continue and do a full analysis in the time period that is left, then you're more than welcome to do that as well. Um, that might be a bit more ambitious in the time frame, though, I imagine. Um, but of course, the call also, is, as I said in my presentation, it's not just for the contributors of today, it's also for anyone else who um, perhaps wants to look, who wants to look at another one of Trevor's works, um, or anything else externally um, from the theme that is uh, work by Trevor Wishart. So, um, I guess the call is out to anyone who is interested in submitting either, of course, to the Orma project itself or to the uh, upcoming call for the e Orma Journal. Some thoughts from the contributors and from anybody else that would like to join. Put you on the spot. Yes, yeah, yeah, well, on the contribution. Yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, it, it, the, well, I've got some supplementary questions, but Mike's the leader here. Yeah. What, what would you like to, and how could it develop? Solo or group? I think, in from my personal point of view, in the first instance, the some kind of summary of the ideas that have been presented today would work well. I mean, I, I think I'd be very frightened of doing an analysis by the 14th. August in terms of, you know, I know the amount of work that that would involve, but actually posing the questions and making those available in public would be mm. a good thing, because it's, it sort of struck me today that half of, half of the, not the battle, but half of the task is actually working out what the questions are, then you've got to ask them, and obviously that's difficult, but having the questions in the first place is, you know, the beginning. I think with the interest for me in terms of having just maybe sketches of how you would go about analysing work is in the sense the, the ethos behind Orem is, is presenting different perspectives. So that as a case study, um, and, and this is a kind of a test bed for presenting that case study, with providing different perspectives and, and ultimately basing that on um, an archive of Trevor's work and how that all that kind of comes together and in terms of not only, I guess, the uh, creation of these analyses but also the potential reception of them as well. Yes. Let's go around. Kevin, what would, I mean, would you like, could you write up what you spoke today with your broken down computer? Yeah, sure, there? sure, yeah. Um, I guess it's kind of a turning point uh, in uh, electrophotic music analysis uh, history because uh, we are the point where, where, where we feel we have enough uh, analytical tools and, and toolkits and uh, in order to be able to provide some kind of meta-analysis uh, yeah, archive or documenting what we are doing in various ways. So yeah, I guess it's a good idea. And I'd be glad to follow up on that. Great. Wait, wait. How would you like to follow up your contribution? Yeah, I would, I would love to carry on uh, for to, to make a maybe a report or something. Um, certainly work up what you did today yeah. into, a, into a general yeah. report. Yeah. 
and also maybe uh, um, to comp. I mean, th this uh, like I'm trying to get a kind of research into the linguistic way, but it's quite a lot of work to actually identify certain parts of this elements like semantic for small small ways and uh, in maybe different perception like la linguistic perception of this uh, approach to language but uh, yeah i will see what i can do yeah yeah cool yeah. um yeah i think it would be quite interesting for me to place what i'm doing on on the, on the website maybe and then revise it gradually as i'm going because my sort of approach is based on something that's in a very early stage so it would be interesting to start with it and then maybe we'll also be able to look back at how then that system develops along with trying to analyze the piece yeah sure um, and then obviously revising it in relation to other things that are discovered and coming back through and maybe ending with something quite substantial at the end mm -hmm. but at the minute it's kind of like i can see six different places <laughs> to go with it so it was interesting in that it opened up a lot of stuff but i'm not sure i can kind of put that back in the box so easily okay if that makes sense well, again, there is, there is no one stopped, nothing stopping you from doing that and also contributing maybe a, a small kind of introductory sketch as well to, in, in a combined journal um, submission. So you can do the two and then obviously have a long term solution and have a short term solution um, for the actual publication itself. That's, again, the two avenues of publication that are open to you. How will you set up the short term solution, Mike? You want to get wow. going on this? Um, obviously, I want to uh, talk to you all when we finish here and um, have a quick uh, discussion about. Uh, the uh, logistics. Do you want to just make that group? Uh, but are there any non-contributors to that actual prepared forum who'd like to join? Don't be bashful. Just join Mike and that group in a moment and set sure, up. Sure. Because it, it sounds to me as if an Orama contribution short term, written up notes of today, would be itself very valuable. No, exactly, yes. Um, I should also mention, as you mentioned, with anyone, I'd like to specifically refer to Everest and Cormac, with your, uh, I know Cormac, your um, particular uh, tool, we call it that, it's more based on the composition, I suppose, um, and you've kind of pushed it towards the analysis side. There is obviously a, a, an option to put that into the analytical toolbox on the RML website as well, for pe um, to have it as a reference for people to point to, and referencing it to any of the um, other publications. Um, so it's just a, a bit of a synopsis to give people a bit more information about that as well. So anyone who is developing um, any analytical tools, that's another option is to have another uh, in the repository itself to have a point to that. Um, we'll not pass this. Uh, I'm afraid I haven't got time to join this because of all the other work we're doing. But a suggestion which is probably totally impracticable but uh, would interest me, um, but given the time scale, might just not work. Uh, I, I agree, it would be very interesting to see what we've heard today about the general approaches and ideas written up. But I'd also be intrigued to see, I mean, it's a long piece, so I think, it, particularly the time scale, say one section uh, chosen by, uh, across all contributors and used uh, to sort of illustrate how these general approaches would work out in terms of looking uh, at a particular passage of music. So to take one short section and uh, uh, each contributor to show, well, here are my general ideas about the approach, and then this is an example of how it would actually work out if I were to apply it to the music. I realise mean, the time scale is very short, that's probably totally different, but it might be for a later stage yeah. on the... Uh, well, the uh, thing is that the, the, the deadline for the ER journal doesn't um, stop people from actually using the global uh, yeah. um, archive later no. on. The, yeah. the, the York archive left that open, it's going to be open and for the foreseeable future as far as I can tell. So there is obviously um, a precedent to say you could, um, even after that deadline, um, try and submit to another on the um, volume or um, put it straight onto the on the, um, project website itself and then have a kind of iterative uh, response to that analysis. So there's there's two again possibilities. Time is not necessarily an issue with in regards to the armor project, but of course the Orma journal has to have some kind of structure. Any other questions or thoughts or are our brains saturated with such wonderful ideas and music that Done anything else for Mike or the project? Well, we won't overstay our talking power, and I want to thank our visitors very much today Michael and Frederic from Huddersfield, Trevor for coming, uh, of course, Kevin all the way from France, and everybody else here. Thank you very much for your contributions.